Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bugger Designs. I've got a fun little Valentine card for you using the new Sending Love Bundle from the uh, Stampin' Up! Spring 2024 mini catalog. This is one of my favorite bundles in the whole catalog. Uh, you can make the mailbox by stamping and coloring, or you can make it uh, this way, which is what I'm gonna do using cardstock. Inside, I have stamped the Happy Valentine's Day sentiment, and that stamp is from the Be My Valentine, right here, Happy Valentine's Day. But of course, you could make it non-Valentine and put something else in there, like Miss You, or Happy Birthday, or whatever. All right, let's get started by making our mailbox. I have done a lot of things ahead of time just for the sake of the video. I've done a lot of die cutting. Let's look at the dies that I've used. Uh, this one right here is our mailbox, and it has some score lines already in it, so you just wanna fold those over. You can see this one right here. You're gonna fold that one over. And uh, let's see, do I have my bone folder? If you take your bone folder, and run it right along that score line. It'll make it nice and crisp, all right? And then we're gonna adhere it like that. But before we do, I wanna stamp the sentiment, or, or the word, really not just, not a sentiment, but the word, mail, all right? So I'm gonna just stamp that in memento black right there on the front of our mailbox. All right, so now I think I'm gonna use tear and tape I can find the end. And we're gonna put that tear and tape right there on that lip, like that. And I don't know why all my supplies are over on the other side of my desk today. Let's clip that off. And then take your, um, either your paper snips or your, um, Take your pick tool and get that backing off and then just kind of roll that over to meet the edge. And there's your super cute little mailbox. Now I also have a, a flag that I've cut out of basic black. Let's see, right here is that die. And I'm gonna take that with some liquid glue and just set that right like that. All right, we're gonna set that aside to dry. I have also cut out a uh, basic white uh, postage rectangle, if you will. Um, this is from the Perennial Postage Suite. They're, it's a great set of dies that just look like postcards. I love them. I've cut out our um, little mailbox stand from Pecan Pie. You can see it also adds in those little kind of embossed images to give it some detail. And I'm gonna add some dimensionals on the back. And I'm gonna put this pretty low. I wanna leave room for my mailbox. Let's make sure, yep, that's pretty good. And then we'll add the grass, which I am also gonna add with dimensionals. We'll put this one right here like that. And we'll take this one and put it overlapping like that. All right, so now I think we can go ahead and put our mailbox with two dimensionals right there like that. Now we've got to make some mail to stick into our mailbox. And I have, I'm gonna make mine from uh, Flirty Flamingo cardstock and Smoky Slate cardstock. And then I'm gonna use this most adorned designer series paper. You can see it's gold foil on the back. This is celebration paper. It's one of the things you can choose for free during celebration um, when you spend $50. I, I love a lot of things in that catalog, but I think maybe that's my favorite, the most adorned paper. All right, so Flirty Flamingo ink on Flirty Flamingo cardstock. And then I think I'm just gonna do the rest of them in memento black. Now there is a die to cut this envelope out, but I just find this one is so easy to cut out. I, think, I just think it's faster to do it with your scissors because you're just going to snip off around the edges. But that die is there for you if you feel like maybe your scissor cutting isn't one of your favorite things to do, use that rectangle die and it will cut them out perfectly. All right, so we've got five letters all together. 
I actually made this card for a swap. I made 21 of these cards. So 21 times five, that's a lot of envelopes. And it took me no time at all to cut them all out. I sat watching a movie and it took me, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes to get them all cut out. So don't worry, it really is very easy. All right, so now we've got those. Let's bring our, our mailbox back. I'm gonna start by putting my smoky slate envelope back here. I have a little tape stuck to my finger. And then our flirty flamingo envelope right there. And then I think I'm gonna put this one in with a dimensional. Slide that in right there. And then these other two are gonna be fluttering down to the ground. Like they maybe they fell out because the mailbox was so stuffed with letters. Like that. All right, now let's add it to our card. I have another piece of the most adorned designer series paper. You know, the back of this paper is really fancy. It, all the back sides have this gold foil, but I just love the red patterns and the pink patterns so much that I think I've only used the gold, the gold side once. I, you know, sometimes you get a paper and you only like one side, but this paper I love all sides. It's hard to decide which ones to use. All right, so that is just a piece of the most adorned designer series paper, um, four by five and a fourth. There will be a supply list and measurements over on my blog, as well as two other uh, Sending Love projects if you are looking for more ideas. All right, now our mailbox wouldn't be complete without a bow. And I think this very vanilla and black large check ribbon goes really well with this little red and pink card. So I'm gonna tie a bow, snip those ends at an angle, grab my glue dots, and let's see if I can get it. All right, let's set it down. There we go, and we'll put that right there. Now we're gonna add some things on the inside. We're gonna stamp that sentiment again from um, the Be Mine Sweet Be Mine Bundle. Happy Valentine's Day. And then I'm gonna take the, the envelope and I'm gonna stamp it once here in Memento Black. I'm gonna grab the heart, the little heart stamp, and we're gonna stamp that right in the middle of that envelope in real red. How cute, right? This is an adorable bundle. Um, I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day, but again, I think this mailbox, if you chose different colors and different papers, would be fine any time of the year. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, check out this project, two others, and that free PDF. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody, have fun stamping, bye-bye.